What's up, besties? Today, I'm going to quickly show you how to blend text, people, and backgrounds. You ready? Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be working from like an all-over t-shirt, so I'm just going to go to File Open. I'm going to find my little file. All right, bam. Okay, so first I'm going to place my little background. Um, I'm gonna do like a Space Jam theme. So I'm gonna go to File, Place, Embedded. Gonna grab this file. I'm gonna leave it like it is. I'm gonna grab it to get the move tool and grab it to the top. All right, gonna leave it about right there. I'm gonna drag it under the template. Okay, now I'm gonna create a new layer and you go down in the layer palette and you press the square with the plus and that's to create a new layer. And I'm gonna fill that layer. I'm gonna right click, find my um, paint bucket tool, select the color picker, and I'm gonna pick a random color. I'm probably gonna do navy. All right, fill it. Um, I'm gonna drag it under. And now I'm gonna add a layer mask to the space jam because that's what I'm actually blending. So you go down in your layer palette, press the square with the circle, and a white box is going to pop up. I'm going to grab the gradient tool, make sure black is on top, make sure this area is black and white, and we're only using the linear gradient. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see actually where I'm clicking. Now, you see this hard? This hard line, I'm clicking like really right under it. I'm clicking, I'm holding the shift key, and I'm dragging up. Y'all see that line? I'm gonna go up a little ways and then I'm gonna let go. Now you see how it's blended? Look much better, right? If you make a mistake and go, you know, the opposite way. All you have to do is go right back under. You don't have to press Control Z or nothing. You just go back and blend. Okay, next thing, I'm going to place an image um, in. Okay, uh, I'm going to place my, um, my godson in here. Um, I'm going to size them how I want them sized. That's cool, looks good to me. Um, you can hit the move tool like you can press you know, control T or you can press the check mark. All right. Now I'm gonna add a layer mask to him because I don't want all this in there. And we do the same thing. We get the gradient tool, make sure black is on top, linear gradient, black and white. Okay. And I'm just gonna click and drag up. Drag up to your liking. You can keep doing it over and over. I like it like that. No, I like. I like it like this. Okay, so now we've blended background and we've blended a person. Next, I'm going to add some random text on here. Uh, when you select a tool, your options are at the top. So I'm just going to roll with this. Uh, Maybe make it a little bigger and I probably will leave it white. I'll make the text white. So I'm going to click up in here and I'll just type his nickname, Ram. Uh, hit the check mark and now I'm going to press Control T. And I'm going to resize and make it look, you know, pretty decent. I'm going to leave it. I guess I'll leave it right there. I'll hit the check mark. Now because I'm extra. I'm going to double click and add a layer style. I'm just going to put a stroke on. Stroke and um, that looks good. So I'll leave it orange. Just press OK. Now, I'm going to add one more element to the bottom of this t-shirt because just because I don't want it plain. OK, so I'm going to do file place embedded. And I like to put random stuff in there. So I'm just going to put this graffiti background. Why? No idea, but I like it. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Once you get it where you like. All right. Pressing the check mark. All right. 
Now, layer orders. I'm going to drag this layer under the blended face jam. Okay. Now, I can easily lower the opacity and, you know, looks pretty cool. Or you can also change the blend mode of the layer. So I like the way overlay looks, so I'm going to roll with that. Just in case I want to blend, like, in this area right here, and I just want to take off some of the graffiti, I'll just add a layer mask, get the gradient tool. Um, okay, this is a good example. Reset to black and white. You hit this little button, this little square right here, the little square. And you use these arrows to change the colors. I'm going to go down because this is the part I'm trying to blend up here. So I'm gonna go at the top and drag down a little bit. Okay, guys, that's it. Hope you found this video useful. Um, if so, leave me a comment below. Other than that, I hope y'all have a great day. Peace.